Hey folks, has YouTube changed your notification system yet? Well, today I want to explain to you how you can try to change this system back to the way it used to be. I'm going to do this in three different browsers in Microsoft Edge. Please note that if you're using Internet Explorer, the Microsoft Edge instructions won't quite work for you. I tried to figure out how to easily do this in Internet Explorer, and I wasn't really able to figure that out. All I can say is use a different browser. Anyway, the next browser would be Firefox. And then I'm going to show you how to do it in Chrome, but I'm not really going to do it in Chrome because I don't have the new system in Chrome and I don't want to risk getting it. Uh, the fix is actually the same for any browser. This new system is actually being beta tested via a certain cookie that YouTube puts on your computer. So really to try to reset it to try to get YouTube to give you the old system, all you need to do is to delete your cookies. However, if you delete all of your cookies, then what that does is it signs you out of everything that you're in. It signs you out of your YouTube account and it's really annoying. So what I wanted to show you in this video is how you can surgically delete the specific cookie that is causing this issue. It's a little bit different in each browser. So I'm going to show you how to do it in each browser. First up, we have uh, Microsoft Edge, and you can see here up in this corner that I have the uh, new notification system. So for example, whenever there are notifications of new videos, I get that in there instead of just being in my sub box in the notification system. And when I want to respond to a comment, if I click on it, it doesn't let me respond in line. Instead, it takes me right into the video and uh, it'll then take me to where I'm supposed to respond. But you know, that's really annoying. So the question is, how do I get rid of this cookie? Well, if I were in, you know, Microsoft Edge, what I could do is I could go to this three dots and then I could go to settings and then I could go to choose what to clear and I could clear all of my cookies and save web data and press this clear button. But what happens if I do that is it will sign me out of YouTube. It'll sign me out of all of my websites and I don't want to do that. So what I can do instead is on your keyboard, press F12. And what that will do is it'll open up this uh, kind of developer panel and it will allow you to see things like, you know, the, uh, the, the web HTML for YouTube and whatnot. But what you want to go to is if it's not already on the debugger tab, go to the debugger tab here and then go to this cookies. You will see several different cookies. So there's like cookies for ads, there's this EVGK, whatever. And then there's www.youtube.com. Now, if you go either to this EV, whatever, and this might be different for you. I think this is specific to maybe you or like it may be different for me than it is for you. But if you go to either this one or this YouTube one, for either of these, you'll see one that says visitor info one live. And this one is the specific cookie that is causing all of our problems. What YouTube has done is they have done this beta test where a certain percentage of the population gets the cookie that gives them the new notification system. So in Internet Explorer, if you can identify this cookie and then say delete cookie, it should disappear and it should also disappear from that other one. So you can delete it in either place and it should be fine. Then you can kind of close out of this and refresh YouTube. Now, because I um, am only deleting that cookie. I'm not deleting all the cookies on YouTube. I'm only deleting that one cookie. You will see that whenever it refreshes that I am still logged into YouTube. But hopefully when we check here, uh, this doesn't work every single time, but hopefully as you can see, it is now the old system. You can tell because it has that multicolored uh, circle, that means it is the Google Plus system. The Google Plus system is the old system where you can respond in line. So hopefully at some point it will actually load so I can kind of show you this. Um, this is really not speaking well for Edge that YouTube doesn't load that fast here. So I'm going to probably skip a little bit or maybe I'll just let you watch it until it actually loads. Let me close it out and then reopen it so that it'll have a faster time. Okay, so you can see here this is the old notification system. It has Google notifications here. Whenever I check a notification, it disappears, but I can still go back and then see all the ones 
that I had. And if I go to something like this, it will uh, show me all the comments in line. Um, for certain of uh, the comments, I can respond in line just like I used to. So I don't have to go to that video. And so that's good. Now, if you wanted for some reason to go back to the new system, all you need to do, and again, it doesn't work every time, but all you would need to do is go back to this cookies, go back to that, whatever the multi letter combination that you have, and then re-delete this. It doesn't switch you every time because I think it's a limited beta. So sometimes it'll just keep on giving you the old system. I think it's easier to delete and get to the old system than it is to the new system. But since most of you hate the new system, that's really, you know, something that's a good thing. So I'm going to see if it gives me the new system again. It doesn't work every time. I had to do delete the cookie around eight or nine times before I got the new system back uh, on Internet Explorer Edge before. So um, it might give me the old system whenever I go back here. Uh, let me just check right quickly. Uh, let me see. Yeah, as you can see, it's giving me these colors. So it's giving me the old system again. So to get the new system, you kind of have to play around with that specific cookie a few times, but it seems a lot quicker and easier to delete the new system cookie and get the old system back, which is probably what you wanted. Okay, so next I wanted to um, do for Firefox. I don't use Firefox and apparently in the years since I haven't used Firefox, they've gone up to like version 50 or whatever. That seems a little excessive to me. But if you click on this, you can see that when I first downloaded Firefox and logged into my YouTube account, it gave me the new system. So how do I get to um, the cookies to delete those? Well, here you have this three line menu, this hamburger menu, and you can go to this options and I already have options in a new tab. Now, what you want to do is uh, for uh, Firefox, I believe that it is now, you can tell that I don't use Firefox so much because I'm guessing wrong. Um, where is it? It's in privacy. And what you want to do is you want to do remove individual cookies and you can kind of just search for YouTube. And what it'll do is it'll show you several different YouTube ones, but here you go. Here's that visitor info one and you want to delete that selected one, not any other ones because you know, this will like log you out and that sort of thing. So now we've deleted that specific uh, cookie we want to refresh, which if I can figure out how to refresh in this browser, I'll do that. And it's much faster than Edge. I mean, I, obviously Firefox is not paying me or whatever, but now you can see it was very quick to load, much quicker than Edge. I mean, Microsoft really get your stuff together. And you can see it has that uh, system. That's the old system that everyone wants to do. Now, just again, I'll, I'll show you if you go to remove individual cookies and then you click YouTube, you will see that it's back, but it's a new cookie. So if I delete this again, if I remove this again, I can reload and it will trigger YouTube randomly assigning me either the old system or the new system. So I'm going to hope that YouTube gives me um, the old system again, but it might give me the new system. So we'll just see by, you know, clicking on this, what it gives me. So check this out with one delete on Firefox, it gave me the new system again. So let me just show you again that uh, we now have a new visitor info one live. Let me just delete this again and then go back and then uh, refresh and we'll see if it gives us the old system back or if it gives us the new system again. Like you're like playing with the lottery here. So here you can see because it has that multicolored screen that this is the old system. This is the Google Plus and it has Google notifications that it says, uh, you know, you can click on the read the red ones. It doesn't show you all your notifications, only shows you the new ones. So that's Firefox. Now, if I go to um, to YouTube, I don't want to necessarily do this trick because I already have the old system in Google. You can see it in my Chrome. It's the old system. But to do in Chrome, the same thing that we've been doing, we go to this uh, three dots, we go to the settings and I might have a different theme for Chrome. So it might look a little bit different, but whatever your menu button and then your uh, settings. And um, what you want to do is you want to do advanced settings, uh, content settings, and then all cookies and site data. And that's kind of similar to uh, what you had before with uh, Edge and Firefox, where it'll show everything and you can kind of search. 
And what you see is you'll see 17 cookies or 10 cookies. And you just want to, again, go to the one that has visitor info live and you can remove that specifically. Now, I'm not going to delete it for you because I use Chrome as my daily driver. And I quite frankly don't want to have the new system on here. And I know that I could just go again and delete the cookie again because I showed you that on Firefox. I deleted it and it switched me back, but I don't want to mess with that. So um, hopefully that helps. Let me know in the comments if that worked for you. It may not work every time, so try it a few times. Um, if you have any questions about this, uh, I did another video on why YouTube is making this change, so you can kind of see there. Unfortunately, I have to say, though, that this fix is probably temporary um, because YouTube has announced that they are going to transfer everyone to this new system eventually. So at some point when they've transferred everyone to this new system, the only cookie that you'll be able to get is for the new system. So at some point we'll need to find a way to tell YouTube that we don't like this new system so that they can try to program into the new system uh, some of the features that we're missing.